Hello, hello, hello. Today is October 11, 2018. I just woke up and I had a very strange dream. I'm still in pajamas. Why am I mentioning that I just had a dream? The reason is that this art quiz, number 20, is about surrealism. And surrealism is the world of the unconscious. In a way, it's the world of our dreams, where the most bizarre things can happen. In dreams, we can be exposed to our greatest fears, but also to our greatest pleasures. Something we always hoped for, but we know would never happen. That's what our unconscious is, do is doing to us. It confronts us in our dreams with this whole spectrum of matters, all the way from nightmares to wonderful dreams, some even very romantic. A few times a year, I dream the following. It's a nightmare. Let me first tell you, most of you know that. The time that it takes me to prepare my MIT lectures is somewhere between 60 and 80 hours. I drive on those lectures three times. The first time two weeks before the lecture. The second time one week before the lecture. And the third time 6 a.m. in the morning of the lecture. Okay? In these nightmares, which I have really the same one at least four or five times a year, I walk into the lecture hall at MIT. It's packed with students, but I cannot find my lecture notes. I search for my lecture notes desperately. Students start laughing and leave the lecture hall. Isn't that amazing? But that's a deeply rooted fear in my own conscience. There's another nightmare that you may prefer not to hear. Half my family was gassed and murdered in concentration camps by the Nazis. Not very often, but maybe two or three times a year, I dream that the Nazis torture me. But I have even dreamt that I witnessed my own execution. Those are extreme nightmares on the worst part of the spectrum, on the good part of the spectrum. I was not very good with French in high school. And out of a scale of 1 to 100, I only scored a 50 on my final high school exam for French. Don't worry. <laughs> I scored a hundred for physics and a hundred for math, but only a fifty for French. And so I have these wonderful dreams. I got a hundred one for my French exam. 
even one point more than a hundred. That's the best end of the spectrum. I dreamt not so long ago that I had bought ten tickets in a lottery. And I won nine out of ten. <laughs> That's the wonderful end. The art quiz today is about surrealism. The most well-known surrealist artists are Salvador Dali, Max Ernst, René Magritte, Yves Tanguy, the Chirico. Chirico, in my book, is by far the best because he was the first. He already did surrealistic paintings in 1913, where after the surrealistic movement really started only seven years later, in 1920, roughly. This is a very famous work by Magritte. And he writes there in French, this is not a pipe. <laughs> you may want to Google surrealism and watch some of the bizarre paintings that were made. Remember, anything is possible in dreams. The most bizarre things can happen. I meet my parents, which is wonderful in my dreams. I meet my best friend, who died in 1999, in my dreams. Anything is possible in dreams and that is reflected in the paintings of the surrealist. Art quiz number 20 is a striking example of surrealism. It was suggested to me by one of my viewers and I thought, yeah, to do a surrealistic painting is actually a good idea. <laughs> Frankly speaking, I don't like surrealism, but that is irrelevant. These surrealists that I just mentioned were pioneering artists without question. Whether I like it or not is irrelevant. They deserve a place in my art quizzes because of their pioneering quality. And this week's painting is definitely by one of the pioneers in surrealism. Who is the artist? When was it made? And what is the title? All right, give it a shot. Surrealism, here I come. Who is the artist? When was it made? And what is the title? Good luck.